we all need heroes. And Nguyen Bok Truyen is a true hero. And like all good heroes, he inspires us. In the midst of oppression, he stood up strong. In the midst of tactics to dehumanize him and others, he's reminding us of the infinite worth of all human beings. And in the midst of efforts to stifle his voice, he's still able to communicate with us. It's said that in the midst of oppression, standing up for yourself may be noteworthy because it can be very, very difficult. Standing up for one's own community is admirable. But standing up on behalf of others when you yourself are being oppressed, that is truly courageous. And that courage that Nguyen Bok Truyen has shown us inspires us. It inspires us to do great things. And it is kindled in us a fire of hope. Hope is something we can never do without. And when we hear stories of Nguyen Bok Truyen, who is, we've heard today, who stood up on behalf of others, other religious communities than his own, that kindles in us hope. So we stand with you, Nguyen Bok Truyen. We are inspired and we are hopeful. We are hopeful that one day you will be free. And not only you, but all other prisoners of conscience in Vietnam and around the world, members of religious communities who are marginalized and oppressed, that one day they will also be free. And that they will be free to have a religion or belief, to practice it peacefully, and to change it if they want to. We thank you. We salute you.